Hey guys, um, I'm going to do a bookshelf tour because um, I, I told you in one of my videos that I got a new bookshelf. And this isn't my new bookshelf, but I just put my books on this one. And over here is my new bookshelf, and I put my all my anime and stuff on that one. And I'll probably do an anime tour eventually and such, but that's my new one. And I'm planning on using that bookshelf for anime and manga and getting rid of all those books because I don't really like those books that much. But these ones I care about. And this is my new camera. And it is beautiful. Oh my god, this is like high resolution awesomeness. So, okay, let's start up here. So I have Speak, Twisted, and uh, Winter Girls by Laurie House Anderson. Winter Girls is amazing. I really, really love this book. I need to read these two, though, still. Um, then I have The Bind Up by B.C. Andrews of Flowers on the Attic and Petals on the Wind. Um, don't really want this anymore, really. Uh, Jay Asher's 13 Reasons and Why. Still haven't read that. Sharp Teeth by Toby Barlow. Um, this is a book about lycanthropes. Um, I think it's in verse. I'm not sure. But I, I need to read that one. And then Geektastic Stories from the Nerd Herd by... Um, well, this is edited by Holly Black and Cecil Castellucci, which is why I put it here. This is all, um, this is all in alphabetical order, so, yeah. White Cat by Holly Black, which is really, really good. My Little Bray books, I have, um, Great and Terrible Beauty and Going Bovine, which I still need to read. The Hate List by Jennifer Brown. Uh, Doing It and Nicholas Dane by Melvin Verges. Um, I love this author. He is amazing. If you haven't read any of his books, you definitely should. I definitely recommend this one, because I have read it, but I haven't read this one yet, so just keep that in mind. This one is amazing. And then, um, Dark Secrets and Kiss by an Angel by Elizabeth Chandler I don't really want anymore. They're just kind of taking up space. The Warrior Air by Cinder Williams Chima, or Chima. Um, haven't read that yet, but heard pretty good things about it. And then Agatha Christie's Death on the Nile, and The Clocks is up there. This is really weird because of Stupid Clockwork Angel being too damn big for this shelf. I had to put it to the side. But I have City of Bones, City of Ashes, and Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare. Um, City of Bones is okay, and I um, may read this one, but I heard this one's better. So I'm probably going to read this one next out of her books. And then The Hunger Games. I love The Hunger Games series. Love it, love it, love it. And my arm's getting tired. But, um, yeah, this is an amazing series. I love it. This, these two books are by Larry Correa. They are Monster Hunter International and Monster Hunter Vendetta. And then my CDs, if you care, I have uh, Three Days Grace 1X. I don't know, it's not... Yeah, well. Uh, Awake and Comatose and Collide by Skillet. I love Skillet. And then the Essential Journey um, Greatest Hit stuff. And that's my wallet that just fell. And there's my glasses case, which I do wear glasses. And that's for my Game Boy, but I put my camera in there. Anyway, now that that useless crap is out of the way, books. Um, here's Nevermore by Kelly Cray, which I'm reading right now. I'm that far in. It's really, really good so far. Uh, Nightshade by Andrew Kramer. Need to read that one. The sequel just came out to that. The Maze Runner by James Dashner. I've heard really amazing things about this dystopian. 13 Reasons, or 13 Reasons Why. Holy crap. 13 to Life by Shannon Delaney. Um, that's about werewolves. I need to read that one. Someone Like You and The Truth About Forever by Sarah Destin. I still haven't read. Uh, Wither by Lauren De Stefano. I need to read. Little Brother by Cory Doctorow. Um, that's a dystopian as well. Kinda. Um, Night Angel's Book of Love, which Leanne sent me. And if you're wondering, I still kept the note, Leanne. It's still in there, and there's a little girl. Because, you know, I keep everything that I got from my friends. Let's just put that up there. Screw it. Um, move this over. I have Perfect Chemistry, The Rules of Attraction, Leaving Paradise, and Return to Paradise with Simone Oakles. I love this author. She's probably one of my favorite uh, romance, contemporary romance YA authors. I love her. And then Jessica's Got to Dating on the Dark Side. I need to read that one. I'm kind of iffy about that one because I don't really like paranormal YA. Except for this series. This is like the only, well, okay, not the only paranormal YA that I like, but... I love this series, Hush Hush and Crescendo. Crescendo. This series is really, really, really good. I definitely recommend it. And I have Gone by Michael Grant. Um, Evernight and Stargazer and Hourglass by Claudia Gray. Another paranormal way romance series that I, I like. Um, I enjoyed Stargazer more than Evernight, but I haven't read Hourglass yet. 
been one of the best authors in the world, John Green. Oh, I love this author so much. Um, I've read all these, by the way. Um, Looking for Alaska is amazing. My favorite one ever. Paper Towns, my uh, second favorite John Green book, I guess. Like, Stand Alone. And then Will Grayson, Will Grayson by John Green and David Levithan, which is absolutely phenomenal. I love it so much. Water for Elephants by Sarah Gruen, which I need to read. Eon by Allison Goodman. I really want to read this because Priscilla recently did a video on it, and it looks really, really good. Um, I love the cover, too. The cover is gorgeous. I love that dragon in the fire. Um, the Outsiders by Assy Hinton, one of my favorite books of all time. I haven't said this, but, yeah, it's one of my favorites. I absolutely love it. Um, Hawks Harbor by Essie Hinton. I also need to read that one. That's one of her new books that recently came out. Um, Next Shelf is Random Crap, um, my MP3 player. I do not have an iPod. I have an MP3 player. This is a Dell DJ Diddy from, like, 2004. Um, and then my cell phone, my horrible... Oh, my God, I almost broke it. My horrible brick phone. Well, I, I don't think it's horrible. It's just... It's not, like, your... It doesn't have Internet or anything. It's just, like, you know, wh whatever. You don't care. And then pictures and crap right there. And then uh, this is my books over here. Oh, and this is my tripod, if you care to know. And then bookmarks, random bookmarks. Okay, moving on. Uh, Ellen Hopkins. I love her so much. I have all her books right now, I think. I'm not missing any, am I? Well, I, I don't have perfect yet because it's not out. But Crank, Glass, Fallout which is all series. I love those books. I haven't read Fallout yet, though. Burn and Impulse, my two favorite standalones by her. Those are amazing. Identical, which I haven't read. And Tricks, which is also amazing. All amazing books. If you haven't read Ellen Hopkins yet, you're crazy. She is the best author in the world. Well, one of the best authors in the world. I love her. And then my favorite book of all time, The Kite Runner. Oh, my God. I love this book to death so much. Love, love, love. And then A Thousand Points of Sons, which is also amazing. I hope he writes a new book soon, because he's genius. And then Wicked Witch and Curse, which I kind of want to get rid of. I don't really care about it anymore. I, I, I read, like, half of it, but, yeah, whatever. Um, Devouring by Simon Holt, which I want to read. Um, then my Maureen Johnson books. I only have three. I have uh, the Bermuda's Triangle, 13 Little, Little Blue Envelopes, and uh, Sweet Scarlet. Um, I want to read Sweet Scarlet first. So yeah, just, I haven't read any of those, but yeah. Need by Carrie Jones, which I also haven't read. The Iron King, The Iron Daughter, and The Iron Queen, all by Julie Kagawa. As you can see, I'm still reading The Iron Daughter. I stopped because it kind of, I don't know, I, Megan really annoys me, and I just can't get into it. I don't know. I'm going to try and keep reading, but as of right now, I don't know. To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee, which I love. This is my favorite classic ever, besides, you know, Poe and Shakespeare. But a standalone classic book, that's my favorite. I love it so much. And then Dash and Lily's Book of Dares by Rachel Cohn and David Levithan. And then my other David Levithan books, which this I'm also trying to read, but I'm going to wait for Christmas. Um, my other David Levithan books, Boy Meets Boy, The Realm of Possibility, and The Lover's Dictionary by David Levithan. Uh, this one right here is absolutely phenomenal. This one I really liked, but I read it in a day, so I really, really want to reread this because, you know, it was good, but I need to reread it. Because um, I read it in a day and I just rushed through it. Um, Amy and Rogers' Epic Detour by Morgan Matson, which is, um, I haven't read yet. Uh, the Road by Cormac McCarthy, one of my favorite books ever. I love it. I haven't said that before, but I love this book. It's so, so good. Such a touching, kind of dystopian adult fiction novel. It's amazing. Vampire Academy or Rochelle Mead, I need to read Fool and The Island of Sequined Love Nuns by um, Christopher Moore. I need to read. Those are supposed to be really funny. Invisible Summer by Hannah Moskowitz, I need to read as well. Heard really good things about that one. And then on this shelf, I have my TV stuff. I need to put, find a place for these. But Repo the Genetic Opera, I love, 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 love that musical, despite what most people, you know, think about it. The Community, one of my favorite TV shows of all time. I can't wait for season two to come out. The Golden Girls, I have season one, four, and five. Oh, I love this show, too. Probably my favorite TV show. And then the only season of Mad TV that was ever made. Season one, one of the best. Um, they also put out, like, a season seven special edition or something. I don't know, but that's the one that came out. The other ones haven't or won't ever come out. Um, Sing Me to Sleep by Angela Morrison. Amazing, amazing book. One of my favorite romances ever. It's so, so good, so touching, and really thought-provoking and deep, and it's really, really good. 
Uh, then, one of my favorite authors of all time. Um, this is Jason Myers' books, The Exit Here, The Mission, and Dead End. Dead End is absolutely phenomenal. you got to read it. It is so, so good. I can't wait to read these ones, but I haven't read them yet. And then, this guy's ever with Jenny Nelson. I've heard really, really good things about it. I've, I just haven't read it yet. The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness I need to read. Uh, Choke, uh, Invisible Monsters, and Lullaby by Chuck Palahniuk. I also need to read those. Um... James Patterson's, um, Daniel X series, I need to, I don't know, I don't really like it that much, so I might get rid of these. Aragon, Eldest, and Brissinger, I really like these two, but I haven't read this one yet. And then one of my other favorite books of all time, um, Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. I cannot wait for the Boy Next, uh, Lola and the Boy Next Door, which comes out in September, I think September 13th. Um, then Diana Peter Fern's Ramp Rampant, which I need to read, and then my Harry Potter books, which look like crap right now because the, I hate this organization. I hate it. But I have to keep them in order, even though they are, like, just look really bad. Um, but I have, you know, the first one, second, third, fourth, fifth. I'm not going to read them all. But this one's my favorite, Order of the Phoenix. Um, and you can see I tore it up. I love this book. It's so good. Um, my favorite in the series. And then Complete Tales and Poems of Edgar Allan Poe, which I also love. Love, love, love. Okay, the last shelf is going to be really tricky, so... Bear with me. Bear with me, people. Okay. I'm on the ground now. I have The Falling for Hamlet by Michelle Ray. Uh, Virals by Kathy Reich. So both of those I haven't read yet. Um, I'm just going to pull this out, actually. Uh, the, the the first three books in the Percy Jackson series, Rick Riordan. Um, these are, what is it, Carrie Ryan's books. Um, I started reading this one, but I don't know. It's, it's really, really kind of slow and boring right now. I might still finish it. This lighting is really horrible. I'm sorry. This is uh, Blindness by Jose Saramago. I need to finish that one still. Uh, I'm just going to pull them out, actually. And then they all fall down. Uh, I Heart You, You Haunt Me by Lucy Schroeder. Uh, Between Shades of Grey by Ruta Sepetis. I really need to read this one. I've heard great things about that one. Um, Poison Study by Maria J. Snyder, I need to read still. Forbidden by Tabitha Suzuma, I still need to read. I've heard amazing things about that one as well. Uh, Battle Royale by Toshun Takami, um, Toshun Takami. And, um, I really like the movie and the manga, so I need to read this book. Because it's supposed to be really, really amazing. Sorry for the lighting again. Uh, Night Runner by James Dashner, I still need to read as well. And then this is my Mark Twain selected works collection thing. It's got gold foil. I think this was from Barnes & Noble, maybe. I'm not sure. But I like Mark, Mark Twain. Parrotfish by Ellen Linklinger. Um, I need to read this one as well. Um, but it, it sounds really, really amazing. And then my final book on the shelf, Book Thief by Marcus Suzak. I need to read this one as well. It's, it's pretty big, but I've heard amazing things about this one, so I need to read it. And that's my bookshelf. I have a ton of other books, but... I just really only care about these ones, to be honest. I don't really care about those that much. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this. I finally did one. And I will see you guys next time.